Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Ma Channel. Sa video na ito ay magre-review tayo for college entrance exam mathematics. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for college entrance exam mathematics which is part 15. So magagamit nyo ito as a reviewer kung magtitake kayo ng UPCAT, PUPSET, ASET, DCAT, USTET, etc. So aside dito sa series of videos for college entrance exam reviewer mathematics, meron din akong mga separate playlists sa bawat branches ng mathematics like algebra, geometry, trigonometry, analytic geometry, etc. na pwede nyo ring panoorin for more detailed discussion sa bawat topic sa bawat branches ng mathematics na yon. So ilalink ko na lang din yung mga playlist sa description para ma-check nyo. So, magsasagot ulit tayo ng sets of questions. So, sa part 40, nagtapos tayo sa item 140. So, let's start with item 141. So, find the perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD given this figure. So, hanapin daw natin yung perimeter nitong quadrilateral ABCD. Okay? So, para mahanap yung perimeter ng quadrilateral ABCD, i-add lang natin yung lengths ng bawat sides niya. So, AB, BC, CD, and AD. So, AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. So, therefore, kailangan natin makuha yung dimensions nila. So, meron kasi tayo ditong circle A na merong two tangent segments BC and DC. Meron tayong mga given dimensions. So, yung radius AB is 7. Tapos, meron tayong segment from the center to external point C equal to 25. So, apply natin dito yung concept na kapag meron tangent, tangent line or segment sa circle, perpendicular siya sa radius. So, therefore, itong BC as well as itong DC, para silang tangent dito sa radius AB and AD. So, 90 degree ito. Right? So, pwede natin kuhain itong right triangle ABC. Ito. So, redraw ko. ABC. So, A, B, C. So, given yung dimension ni A, B as 7, and then itong A, C as 25. So, masasolve natin itong side B, C using Pythagorean theorem, right? Sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So, yung legs natin is itong A, B at itong B, C, and then hypotenuse itong A, C. So, we have 7 squared plus B, C squared is equal to 25 squared. So, add natin ngayon si BC. So, 7 squared is 49 plus BC squared equals 25 squared is 625. So, we have BC squared transpose 49, 625 minus 49. BC squared is equal to 625 minus 49, 576. Get the square root of both sides. BC is square root of 576 or exactly 24, right? So, therefore, si BC is 24. Now, itong si AD, 7 din yan, right? So, dahil paraho naman ng dimension nitong triangle ABC at this time itong triangle ACD, para silang may 7 at 25, automatic itong DC is 24 din. Okay, so meron na tayo lahat ng side lengths ng quadrilateral. So, add na lang natin. So, perimeter is AB, which is 7, plus BC, which is 24 plus CD, which is 24 then, plus AD, which is 7. So, 7 plus 24 plus 24 plus 7 is 62. So, therefore, the perimeter is 62. Letter A. Okay? Next, we have, find the value of X in the equation B over X plus A plus A over X minus B equals 0. So, sad lang natin tong given equation for X. So, copy lang natin yung equation. So, babasin nga meron tayong rational expression kasi meron tayong denominators na x plus a tsaka x minus b. So, eliminate muna natin yon So, multiply natin both sides by the LCD which is itong product nga ni x plus a at x minus b. So, distribute. So, for the first part, makakancel natin si x plus a. Matitira is x minus b times b plus distribute sa second term. This ay makakancel naman natin sa x minus b. Matitira is x plus a times a equals multiply din sa right. So, 0 times this expression is still 0. So, distribute natin si b. So, xb minus b squared plus distribute din si a. 
So, xa plus a squared equals 0. Sa gaday ko lahat ng may x ito sa left, and then yung mga wala, itong negative b squared saka a squared, transpose natin sa right. So, xb plus xa equals, and then transpose yung negative b squared, so magiging positive b squared, itong positive a squared magiging negative a squared. Factor out ko itong common term na x, so x times b plus a equals b squared minus a squared. Divide both sides by p plus a para masolve natin si x. So, cancel. x now is b squared minus a squared over b plus a. Ngayon, pwede pa natin itong simplify kasi factorable itong numerator as sa difference of two squares, right? So, b plus a times b minus a divided by b plus a. So, cancel natin si b plus a. So, matitira, x is now b minus a. So, therefore, the answer is letter b. Okay? Next, find the product of 6x squared minus 3y and negative 4x squared plus 6y. Okay, so product of two binomials. So, foil method lang, right? So, 6x squared minus 3y times negative 4x squared plus 6y. So, multiply muna natin ito. So, 6x squared times negative 4x squared is negative 24x to the fourth. And then, 6x squared times 6y is positive 36x squared y. And then, negative 3y times negative 4x squared is positive 12x squared y. Lastly, negative 3y times positive 6y is negative 18y squared. So, combine lang natin itong similar terms. So, negative 24x to the fourth. So, 36x squared y plus 12x squared y is positive 48x squared y and then minus 18y squared. So, this is the final answer. Letter A. Okay. Next, the factored form of 2x to the fourth minus 32y to the fourth is... Okay, so factor natin itong 2x to the 4th minus 32y to the 4th. So, pwede ba na natin i-factor yung common monomial factor nila na dito sa constant 2, right? So, 2 times x to the 4th minus 16y to the 4th. And then, pwede natin i-apply dito yung difference of 2 squares. So, we have 2 times x squared plus 4y squared times x squared minus 4y squared. So, remember yung difference of two squares, right? x squared minus y squared is x plus y times x minus y. Okay? Now, itong second factor natin, x squared minus 4y squared, is factorable pa. Again, by using difference of two squares. So, we have 2 times x squared plus 4y squared. So, magiging x plus 2y times x minus 2y. So, therefore, this is the final factored form. So, letter A. Okay? Next, we have given f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 and g of x equals to 2x minus 5, evaluate f circle g of 7. Okay? So, composition of function. So, ibig sabihin nitong f circle g of 7 equal yan sa f of g of 7. So, ibig sabihin, i-evaluate natin itong g of x by 7 muna. And then, kung ano mang value nung nakuha natin dito sa g of 7, i-evaluate naman natin dito sa f of x. Okay? So, magsimula muna tayo dito sa g of 7. So, substitute natin yung 7 sa lahat ng x. So, g of 7 is equal to 2 times x. Papalitan natin ng 7 minus 5. So, 2 times 7 is 14 minus 5. 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay, ngayon, evaluate na natin itong f of g of 7 now is 9, right? So, f of 9. So, papalitan naman natin ng 9 yung mga x dito sa f of x. So, 3 times x squared. So, yung x gagawin kong 9. So, 9 squared plus 1. So, 3 times 9 squared is 81 plus 1. So, 3 times 81 is 243 plus 1. So, 243 plus 1 is 244. So, therefore, the final answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have find the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence whose first term is x and second term is x minus 3y. Okay, so napindo natin yung 10th term ng arithmetic sequence na merong first term na x at second term na x minus 3y. So, gamitin natin yung formula for arithmetic sequence. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 
plus n minus 1 times d. So, yung isa buwan, yung first term, n yung number of term, d yung common difference. And then, yung isa n yung n term. So, meron tayong first term x, right? So, yun yung isa buwan natin. Ngayon, wala tayong common difference. So, para makuha yung common difference, subtract natin yung second term minus first term. So, x minus 3y minus x. So, ito yung common difference d. So, cancel si x, matitira is negative 3y. So, meron na tayong d na negative 3y. And then, yung n natin bali dito, yung number of term is 10. Kasi yung pinapahanap, right? Yung 10 term. So, substitute natin. So, a sub 10 is equal to a sub 1 is x plus n minus 1. So, 10 minus 1 times d negative 3y. So, simplify. x plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times negative 3y. So, x plus 9 times negative 3y is negative 27y. So, therefore, the 10 term is x minus 27y. Letter A. Okay? Next, we have what is the vertex of the parabola y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, na raw yung vertex nitong parabola with this given equation. So, given this form of equation of a parabola or second degree equation, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where is not equal to 0, a, b, c are constants, right? So, meron tayong different ways to find the vertex. So, pwede tayong mag-complete the square. In this form, y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So, yung magiging vertex natin is at h comma k. Or pwede rin gumamit tayo ng direct formula. So, ito yung direct formula natin for the coordinates ng vertex. So, for x, negative b over 2a. And for y, negative of b squared minus 4ac over 4a. So, para mas madali, ito na lang gamitin natin. So, identify muna natin yung a, b, at c. So, sa given equation, yung a natin is yung numerical coefficient ng x squared, which is 1 lang, right? And then yung b, numerical coefficient ng x, which is 2. And then yung constant c is 2. So, substitute lang natin. For x... So, negative b over 2a. So, negative b is 2 over 2 times a is 1. So, we have negative 2 over 2 times 1 is 2. So, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Okay? And then for y, using this formula, substitute natin. Negative of b squared. So, 2 squared minus 4a is 1. And c is 2 over 4 times a again is 1. So, negative of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8 over 4 times 1 is 4. So, we have negative of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 over 4 or negative of negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. So, negative of negative 1 is positive 1. So, therefore, yung coordinate natin or x comma y is negative 1 comma 1. Letter A. Okay? Next, we have evaluate logarithm of 16 base 2 times logarithm of 125 base 5 times logarithm of 27 base 3. Okay, so evaluate natin ng expression. So, paano ba mag-evaluate ng logarithm? So, dito muna tayo sa logarithm of 16 base 2. So, ibig sabihin nito is hanapin natin kung saan exponent natin i-raise itong base 2 para maging 16. So, in exponential equation, pwede siyang 2 raised to x is equal to 16. So, therefore, makukuha natin yung value by thinking of number x as the exponent of 2 para maging 16. Obviously, 4. Right? So, therefore, log of 16 base 2 is 4. Likewise, dito sa log of 125 base 5, sa exponent natin, i-raise yung 5 para maging 125. So, alam natin, 5 cubed is 125, right? So, therefore, equal siya sa 3. Likewise, itong logarithm of 27 base 3. So, saan nating exponent i raise si 3 para maging 27? Obviously, sa 3. Kasi 3 cubed is 27. So, the answer here is 3. So, multiply lang natin sila. 4 times 3 times 3 is 36. So, the answer is letter D, 36. Next, we have the domain of the function f of x is equal to square root of 4x minus 1 is... Okay, so ano daw yung domain nitong given f of x equal to square root of 4x minus 1? So, pag hinalap natin yung domain, ibig sabihin yun yung permissible values ng x na hindi magiging undefined itong f of x, right? 
So, dahil meron tayong square root, alam natin na dapat yung numbers inside sa the square root symbol is non-negative. So, therefore, para mahanap yung domain natin is itong expression inside the square root dapat non-negative or greater than or equal to 0. So, pwede siyang 0. Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung magiging restriction natin sa domain. Itong inequality na to. So, solve na lang natin. So, transpose ko tong negative 1 sa right. So, magiging 4x is greater than or equal to positive 1. And then, divide both sides by 4. So, we have x should be greater than or equal to 1 fourth. So, therefore, ito na yung domain natin. x such that x is the set of all numbers greater than or equal to 1 fourth. Okay? So, letter D. Next, we have determine the values of k which will make the roots of the equation x squared minus kx minus k equal 0 equal. Okay, so meron tayong quadratic equation x squared minus kx minus k equal 0. So, wala tayong value nung k. So, hanapin daw natin yon in such a way na magiging equal yung roots nitong quadratic equation. So, gagamitin natin dito yung discriminant. So, yung discriminant natin is b squared minus 4ac. So, kasi yung general equation natin for quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. So, ito yung b squared minus 4ac. Yung mga numerical coefficients na a, b at yung constant c. So, para maging equal yung roots nito, itong discriminant natin, dapat equal yan sa 0. Okay. So, therefore, hanapin natin yung mga values ng a, b, at c dito sa equation. So, yung a is numerical coefficient ng x squared is 1. Ano yung b? Numerical coefficient ng x, ito ay negative k. And then, yung c, yung constant, negative k din. So, plug in natin dito sa discriminant. So, b squared, so b is negative k. So, negative k quantity squared minus 4, a is 1 times c, negative k, equal 0. So, solve natin itong equation for k. So, negative k squared is k squared. The negative 4 times 1 times negative k is positive 4k, equal 0. So, meron tayong quadratic equation. So, solve natin for k. So, factor ko na lang. k times k plus 4, right, equal 0. Equating each factor to 0, k is equal to 0, and k plus 4 is equal to 0. So, ito na isang possible value ng k. k is 0. And then ito, solve for k, we have k is equal to transpose negative 4. So, therefore, meron tayong dalawang values ng k, which is 0 and negative 4, para maging equal yung roots nitong quadratic equation. So, letter A. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, College Entrance Exam Reviewer Mathematics Part 15. So, abang yun na lang yung next upload ko for College Entrance Exam Review Mathematics, which is Part 16. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.